Hi guys, this is Hitesh again and you guys are absolutely gonna love today's topic. A day in the adventurous life of a marine engineering student. So, let's start. A typical day was divided into 11 whistles. Yeah, you heard it right, whistles. The first whistle was at 5 am. It was a wake up call and uh, it was to tell us that tea is served in the mushroom and we should get up now. The second whistle was at 6 am. It meant we should assemble outside, outside our rooms. Now it was time for a long run and some PT, physical training. We ran roughly around 3 to 5 kilometers every morning. Usually we were back by 7 am. Now the third whistle was for breakfast at 7.30 and it was my favorite whistle, absolute favorite. Because it wasn't compulsory to go and eat breakfast, so yes, I mostly missed my breakfast and slept throughout this time. Fourth whistle was at 9 a.m. for parade. Yes, parade. Wearing white uniforms, we had to march for around half an hour in the hot sun. And I absolutely hated this time, absolutely hated. The uniforms were very good though. On 5th whistle, at 9.30 am, we would get into our classrooms. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. I don't know about other colleges, but uh, in my college, the classrooms were the best place to sleep at. We didn't have AC in our hostel rooms, but uh, there were ACs in the classroom and uh, I was a backbencher. I used to sit at the last row of the class. And this setup accompanied by the exhaustion caused by morning PT, parade, running and all led to the most amazing and comfortable nap you can ever imagine, man. But sadly, we couldn't, we couldn't sleep. We had to keep our eyes wide open because there was a lot to learn. And if we, if we were found asleep, sleeping in the class, we were sent out by the teachers, which I was, I was a couple of times. Now, the sixth whistle was for lunch at 1 p.m. So we had lunch and got back to the classrooms at the seventh whistle. At 1.50 p.m. where we studied till 4.30, the 8th whistle, then we had our tea, then we headed to the hostel and had our tea. As soon as we finished our tea, it was time for 9th whistle, which was at uh, 5 p.m. Which indicated that it was time to move on to the playground. Uh, we played cricket, football and volleyball. I personally loved sports, so we played for one and a half hour till 6.30 p.m. The 10th whistle was at 7 p.m. for dinner. We had dinner together then headed back to our rooms for study time until 9.30 pm. It was called study time but nobody actually studied, uh, at least I didn't. And uh, At 9.30 it was time for the last whistle of the day, the warren did the head count at this time. And at 10 pm it was hostel curfew time, nobody could come out of their rooms after, after 10 pm, it wasn't allowed. And if we were late for anything, like Warden has blown the whistle and we are, we haven't assembled within 5 minutes or we aren't there within 5 minutes, we were punished and the punishment was running one round of the whole campus. It was a pretty big campus so it was quite a punishment for us. And no excuses, no excuses, no matter who you are, no exceptions, if you are late you had to run. Now, as organizers, it may look from the outside, it's like, it looks like very easy, that's, that's all you have to do every day and you know what you will be doing tomorrow and you know your schedule, that's all you have to do. But it was extremely hard, trust me, it was very hard to follow the schedule for 4 years of my engineering life. But we, we did it, we made it through and it feels amazing, it feels awesome. That's all, that's how a day in the life of a marine engineering student looks like. And uh, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. See you all in the next video. Bye-bye.